So if you're in Europe, America, Britain, or something like that, you should be investing in South Africa because the exchange rate at the moment is absolutely phenomenal. So take the dollar, you can divide by 19 at the moment, the euro divide by 20, the pound you can actually divide almost by 22. So when we're discussing property investment, what's your best strategy and what are you gonna do? Are you gonna go into flipping property? Oh, these cars are unbelievable. But anyway, let's ignore that and let's get on with this. I was gonna go up the park, but they're watering the park today, so there's no point in that, it's not gonna work. As I was saying, what's the best strategy for you? Are you going into flipping property? Are you going into renting property? Are you going into short-term rentals? Now, with the economy going the way it's going, with the amount of people that are probably gonna be out of work soon, there's gonna be a lot of property on the market and you wanna get your investment now. This is gonna be the time, this is gonna be the year. So while everybody else is canceling this year out, this is your time, this is the time to get in. But long-term rentals, they're a bit of a worry for me because there's gonna be a lot of people out there that are most likely gonna struggle to pay the rent. There's gonna be a lot of jobs falling away. There's gonna be a lot of small to medium enterprises that are closing. So my concern for you is if you're going into long-term rentals is will they be able to sustain paying you your rent? Are you gonna be needing to do a lot of evictions and that sort of thing? So that's quite an incredible investment for you. So you wanna invest in a property in South Africa? Uh, why aren't you doing it? Particularly now, with the rand to dollar value, rand to euro value, rand to pound value. I mean, if you've got pounds, you can effectively divide by 22. If you've got dollars, you can divide by 19. Euros, divide by 20. So you can get yourself a nice little investment property here in South Africa at a really, really good price at the moment. Uh, a friend actually mentioned to me that Pretoria has been rated as the, the most expensive place to live in South Africa. So I kind of debate that. I think of it as wrong. I think Cape Town's kind of much more expensive than, than Pretoria. So I don't know where they came up with that information. And also they mentioned that Cape Town is the capital of crime. Now that said, somebody mentioned to me in one of my previous videos that I made recently, or a while back actually, they turned around and said that Cape Town is the highest crime rate in the country. I think you put that down to a situation where if there's one murder in Cape Town, it'll be all over the television. And if there's four or five in Pretoria, it won't even get mentioned. So my point of view is I don't think that's correct at all. It doesn't sound correct at all. It definitely sounds totally, totally wrong. When I looked at that, I mean, I was up in Pretoria the other day and I was sitting there talking to the person and I thought, well, that's a bit strange because I feel a lot more unsafe here than I do at home. And when I'm sitting in Cape Town, I'm not feeling that kind of pressure. So, yeah, on that side, I, th I think crime is a little bit worse up in the Pretoria area and also the Durban area in Natal. As far as the rest goes, cost of living, I mean, property prices in, in, in Cape Town, as we know, are far higher than anywhere else in the country, including Pretoria. So a house that costs you two million rand in Pretoria costs you effectively about three and a half million rand down in Bloberg and nine million rand in Constantia. So where they come with the fact that Pretoria is the most expensive place to live in the country, I don't know. Because we went to the shopping centers and the price of food and that sort of thing is pretty much the same. Nothing is different. Well, you're not going to change the cost of petrol and alcohol is all, all taxed. So yeah, it's all about property at the end of the day and property is 22% of the economy. Uh, yeah, so I didn't see that Pretoria could possibly be more expensive than Cape Town. Durban's even cheaper than, than, than Pretoria. So where they came with that story is also beyond me. And I thought, yeah, well, let's just get to the bottom of this. So tell me what you think in the comments and, and let me know, because it's really interesting to hear who thinks that Pretoria has got a, a better crime rate, is more expensive to live in than Cape Town. I'd really like to hear your point of view. Let's talk about it. If you can get yourself a nice apartment here on the beach, for a couple of million rand, divide that by 20, it's huge. Now, so you don't have to be wealthy and then you can own that property and you can Airbnb it or you can have a nice little holiday apartment here because Cape Town's a fantastic place to live at. So my recommendation for your property investment strategy this year would be to rather get into something that you can Airbnb, something short term, something where you get the money up front, you have the people there for a week and they go. Yes, you don't have it full the whole year round, but you'll, you'll probably get a little bit more than a long term rental. And it is a little bit more work because you have to put the people in every week. Or you get people that do it for you. I mean, for example, my daughter looks after Airbnb for, for other clients. She'll go and put the clients in for you and whatnot for a small percentage of the fee. She'll make sure that the maid was there, the beds are made, everything is good. So that works, you know, put the chocolates on the pillow or whatever the case. So you can have someone do that for you and still make enough money through the year on your apartment. Yes, 
yes, you have to furnish it and you have to keep it maintained and all the rest of it, but it's a little bit extra on top of a, a huge investment at the end of the day. This year, you'll be getting the investment so much cheaper that you might as well consider that because the furniture is not that expensive. What do you need at the end of the day? A bed, a little bit of a lounge suite, you know, etc. Dining area, kitchen, and all you need to have in the uh, in the apartment, if it's self catering, is is a bit of milk and coffee. Make it nice, you know, all the rest of it. So that's that's my investment strategy for this year, and that's what I'm looking at. That that's your best bet. Flipping property is a little bit difficult in Cape Town or South Africa, as a result of you've got a lot of transfer taxes, costs, and things like that. So the government takes a large portion when you purchase a property, 8 to 13%, depending on how much you spend. That can get quite costly. And then you've still got to pay the lawyer's fees on top of that. And then you've got the bond costs or, or loan costs if, if you're taking a loan. If you're buying cash, then, then you can take those away. But the costs of the taxes on the property are very high. You've got to take that into consideration because if you're flipping, you're buying, you're paying those costs. And when you sell, you're paying brokerage as well and that sort of thing. So it doesn't go away. It doesn't get cheaper. So it's just quite an expense. So you have to be able to make enough money on top of those costs for a flip to work out for you and then you've still got to you know rip the place to shreds and, and all the rest of it and i haven't really found many buyers that are willing to sell their properties for 40 percent less than their value because that's what you need at the end of the day so i think flipping is going to be a bit difficult around here i think your best bet is to actually go with with the short-term rentals that's the best property investment advice i can give anyone this year and that's where i'd be looking gosh this traffic is unbelievable if you're looking at flipping properties, you can do that as well. Get something cheaper here, build it up and flip it. But I mean, you're not here, so it's going to be a little bit tricky for you. So it's going to be more difficult. So I would suggest just owning it and holding it. I mean, even if you're in South Africa and you want to own a property, it's actually a better idea to own it and hold it and, and Airbnb it and rent it out. Because flipping in South Africa, you've got the transfer duties and taxes and all the rest of it for that. Go down to the, the, the description box and, and uh, go and visit my, my website and my blog. It gives you a lot of information on what to do, how to go about it, and what buy, buying properties are about. And there's, there's, a, there's a monthly little blog and whatnot that, that discusses you know, things that are happening in the world and all the rest of it. Yeah, I would still say that Cape Town's a safer place to live and it's a more expensive place to live, uh, but it's a better style of living. That's it. Until next time. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page and follow me on Instagram.